In our series on the new normal, the world from home, we want to bring the world to you since travel, as you know, is very limited this summer. This morning, how some people are still getting closer to nature through technology. South Africa is one of the world's most popular tourist destinations with nearly 17 million foreign visitors in 2019. It's a great place. Many of the tourists who travel to Africa go on safari. But as Deborah Pata shows us, with almost no international travel, travel rather, because of the coronavirus, there is a new way to see the animals up close and personal. Mother, can you see them? They are right here. You don't need to get on a plane to see this. She's got a cup. She's got a cup. <gasps> no ways. Guys, this is incredible. It can all be viewed from the comfort of your own home, raw, unedited, wild, and streamed twice a day Five, from the heart four, of the South three, African bush. Two, one, live, live. The Garcia family from Miami was supposed to visit a South African wildlife park in April. I'm sure you would have told you how rare it is that you see these animals. Instead, they've had a front row seat complete with safari gear, watching everything from baby cheetahs suckling their mother to a joyful herd of elephants cooling down at a waterhole. Welcome on board, everyone. My name is Lauren, and I do have BK on camera. Viewers bump along dusty roads with game rangers like Lauren Arthur as she tracks down incredible animal sightings filmed from a mounted camera on the back of the safari truck. I think people have been able to tap into that during lockdown and realize how important nature actually is. While the world has come to a standstill, nature has not. The circle of life has sure been busy. From the birth of these hyena cubs to baby leopards learning to walk the walk, or lion cubs roughing it with their mum. We've got to remember that in this moment of confusion and not knowing what's happening in the world, that nature has been through this before, and, uh, and we will get through this. Graham Wallington is the co-founder of Wild Earth, which has been streaming virtual safaris for 13 years. Hello. Good morning. But since the world started shutting down, their global audience has been five times higher. From the USA. With around two million viewers a month, a third of which are Americans. During the game drive, Rangers field questions sent in live from the viewers at home. Jensen, you are eight years old from Illinois. Hi there, Jensen. And you're asking do male giraffes ever hang around together? Turns out they do, if they aren't competing for the attention of a female. But generally, they're fairly aloof. Social distancing, it seems, comes naturally to them. We'd like to know if those horns fall off. Prior to the global pandemic, Wild Earth was streaming at safaris to cancer wards in several U.S. children's hospitals, like this one in Washington, D.C. Like tourism around the world, South Africa's nearly $30 billion travel industry is reeling. Private game lodge owner Yapi Fanikirk hosts virtual safaris. He's concerned that conservation, which is funded by tourism, will suffer. We need tourists to bring the money so we can pay our anti-poaching units and we can pay the staff and we can get the money into the economy uh, that lives off nature in order for them to protect the nature. Hi, Gary, in California. You but Wellington really believes that virtual tourism could redefine travel in a post-COVID-19 world. If everybody who wanted to come to Africa on safari came, there'd be too many people and we'd actually damage the thing that we all enjoy so much. So I think that in the future, virtual tourism is a way for everybody to enjoy without destroying it. With so much uncertainty surrounding global travel, experts believe that virtual safaris are not only filling a void, but are here to stay. For CBS This Morning, Deborah Patter, Sabi Sands, South Africa.